हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस कार्टिलेज एनाटॉमी दिस टॉपिक एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू विल गेट वन शॉर्ट नोट इन एवरी इंटरनल एग्जाम एंड पॉसिबली इन फाइनल्स एज वेल सो कार्टिलेज इज थ्री टाइप्स वट आर दे वट इज देयर आइडेंटिफिकेशन पॉइंट्स एंड वेर डू यू गेट देम सो दिस इज हाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिपीटेडली आस्क so flexibility with the firmness this is how the nature of the cartilage is okay what is a cartilage it is a specialized connective tissue it's rich in collagen type 2 so this is collagen type 2 is a mcq point you should remember this collagen type fibers present in majority of the cartilages is type 2 cartilages cells chondrocytes chondroblast they are there or even chondro progenitor cell are there okay so ground substance is there so this is the composition of the cartilage in the ground systems they have negatively charged proteins and hyaluronic acid as a major component that is why they absorb water okay and they nourish themselves by the diffusion through the surrounding tissue fluid okay blood diffusing the the tissue the tissue fluid diffusing from the surrounding blood capillaries which are nourishing nearby bones so this is how they get the nourishment okay through the diffusion and that is why it is a vascular structure and it is a non nervous tissue as well the notable dis- difference between the bone and cartilage is the bone is highly vascular whereas the cartilage is vascular meaning there is a huge amount of blood supply to the bone basically the bone cannot survive without the blood and it it's been said that the blood itself starts the formation of the bone yes so remember this basic difference the bone is highly vascular unlike you know you may feel like the bone is very hard and uh, rigid and all calcium rich but yes it requires a lot of blood and it is the site of blood formation so this is the major difference between the bone and the cartilage the cartilage is a vascular okay it gets the nourishment by the diffusion of the surrounding tissue fluid okay and it's a nerve supply it is a nerve supply is there in the bone whereas the cartilage is non nervous because cartilage forms many of the times the the surface of the you know articulation so you don't want to feel what is uh, being there in the joints every time so for that purpose the cartilage is non nervous majority of the times your cartilages are some or other form of you know they are forming that nature of your articular surface and articular cartilage is there some other cartilages are there they are constantly in motion they are constantly doing something so they are not provided with any nerve supply and uh, there is a huge structural difference where it is having a mineralization the bone is heavily mineralized with the calcium salts and cartilage does not show any kind of mineralization especially the calcium there is no calcium in the cartilage so cartilage appears very soft very flexible whereas bone is a little bit hard okay little bit more rigid the bone has a structurally arranged lamellar pattern we call it as haversian system where cartilage ha- do not have any of such kind of system in the bone there are two ways of growth one is interstitial by the way of your cartilaginous plates which are there and one is oppositional on the surface and uh, by the periosteal deposition of the bone whereas the growth is interstitial in case of cartilage only the lengthwise growth is there as you grow interstitial growth of the cartilage is there okay so these are the major differences you have to know about the bone and cartilage three types of cartilage important high line elastic and fibrocartilage the basis of this differentiation is the presence of different types of arrangement of the cells and the interstitial i would say matrix and the type of fibers which are there so number of cells 
the pattern of their arrangement the size of the cell is a little different as well as some kind of you know the fibers in their interstitial matrix the ground substance is a little bit different and we'll say how they are grossly they appear blue yellow and white the blue is hyaline cartilage yellow is the elastic cartilage and white is the fibro cartilage first cartilage is the hyaline cartilage what is the peculiarity of the hyaline cartilage is the same refractive index of the ground substance and the collagen fiber type 2 collagen fiber are predominant here and you do not see any kind of fiber in this cartilage because of the same refractive index of the ground matrix rich in the chondritin sulfates and the hyaluronic acid and this ground substance and collagen fibers are in uh, rather they are so much homogeneous that this is appearing like a glass and this glass like appearance gives it a name called as high line cartilage high line high loss means glass like you can observe bigger cell nest there this group of cells in the cartilage is known as cell nest and they are more in number though the size is medium compared to the other two cartilages this is a medium size cell but the huge cell nest the cell nest are the largest in size and they are abundant so cell nest are the classical feature of the hyaline cartilage okay you can see territorial matrix a little bit darkly stained because of the presence of the concentration of the the proteins higher in this case and as you grow peripherally the concentration decreases and the matrix appears a little bit pale it is surrounded by a membrane called as peri chondrium okay this is the layer of perichondrium surrounding this cartilage and this is very important for the regeneration of the cartilage these cells which are chondrocytes are derived from the chondrogenic layer the cellular layer of the perichondrium which is the inner layer this is the fibrous layer and this is present in almost all type of cartilages except a few in the articular cartilage this chondro perichondrium is absent and in the fibro cartilage you don't see any perichondrium otherwise in all kinds of hyaline cartilages except this uh, articular it is present and elastic cartilage is also having this perichondrial layer okay so this is your hyaline cartilage elastic cartilage is present and the tissues where the tissue is subjected to the repetitive movements okay and it needs to again come back to the original position so where repetitive movements constant movement is undergoing and you need some kind of resilience with some kind of firmness better than the soft tissues you have elastic cartilages what is the property of this it has a larger size chondrocytes but you can see that they are sparse in nature as compared to the hyaline cartilages so hyaline cartilages have more number of cell nest where cell nest in the elastic cartilages are less but the cell size is more this is chondrocyte in the lacunae or we say cell nest okay the space in which the chondrocyte is bound this is the lacuna and you can see the thin elastic fibers which is the identifying feature of this cartilage is the presence of the elastic fibers and hence the ground matrix is comparatively eosinophilic more pink in nature okay as this ground substance has this special fibers called as elastic fibers which gives this cartilage elasticity you can also observe the presence of perichondrium which is again a cellular layer and a fibrous layer so fibrous layer is the connected tissue layer and cellular air layer is the regenerative layer from where you have the chondroprogenitor cell giving rise to this kind of chondrocytes which are there and this is a third type of cartilage we see fibrocartilage 
what is this fibro cartilage is where you have amount of fibrous tissue more which is present in the ground matrix you have parallelly running collagen type 1 fibers generally this type 1 fiber are a component of bone okay or tendon so collagen type 1 fiber are a little bit more harder in nature more stronger in nature and what you generally have in the other type of cartilages is the type 2 but here you find type 1 and this gives this cartilage name called as fibro white fibro cartilage the identifying features are those parallelly running bundles of collagen fibers you also see some chondrocytes dispersed in that matrix scanty matrix of this cartilage is present and you also have nuclei of fibroblast or fibrocytes which are there fibrocytes nuclei okay in a linear fashion you see they are spindle shaped nuclei preferably they are elongated nuclei and you see round nuclei of the chondrocytes which are there again very scanty in nature okay so the amount of fibers is a classical feature collagen type 1 the chondrocytes are there and these slides many of people confuse this slide with the tendon where in the tendon you can't see you can't observe this chondrocytic nuclei the chondrocytes are totally absent there and you also can't see the cartilage matrix which is still there in the fibrocartilage okay remember fibrocartilage do not possess any perichondrium so perichondrium is absent and this cartilage is considered as a transition between the dense connective tissue and the cartilage and few people also consider this cartilage as a transition between the bone and the cartilage itself okay so fibrocartilage you will observe in the disc of the joints the menisci we'll see in the next slide where you find the different types of cartilages so location of the cartilages in the body the highland cartilage is observed in the primitive bony models the epiphyseal plates primitive bony models are nothing but the cartilaginous models of your long bones and they are all highland in nature and they ossify and you find whatever the adult shape of the bone is there the epiphyseal plates of the growing bone the growing ends they are there in the metaphysis but the cartilage plate is the the hyaline blade the disc of primary cartilaginous joints and that is why they are also uh, called as primary cartilaginous joints where hyaline cartilage disc is there which later on ossifies again and they are also known as chondro you know the primary or we can call it as the synchondrosis primary cartilaginous joints are also known as synchondrosis articular cartilage of synovial joints they are also nature of these articular cartilages hyaline respiratory cartilages trachea and bronchi so every institute is likely to have these two slides trachea and bronchi and trachea is a classical example of the hyaline cartilage so in the histology section you will definitely see this cartilage where it is likely to be present in the trachea only some institute may also possess articular cartilage slide okay larger laryngeal cartilages like the thyroid and cricoid will also be hyaline in nature okay elastic cartilage is present in the auditory tube the auricular cartilage the epiglottis you also observe the fibrocartilage in the intervertebral disc articular disc in certain joints like the sternoclavicular and temporomandibular joints are fibrocartilaginous in nature where membranous ossification takes place nearby that joints if the disc is present that is likely to be a fibrocartilaginous disc the menisci of your big joint knee joint is also fibrocartilagin and disc of secondary cartilaginous joints they are also fibrocartilaginous disc classical example is the intervertebral disc and this cartilages the hyaline cartilage undergo calcification at the later stages in the life 
elastic cartilages undergo never a calcification and fibrous cartilages also don't undergo the calcification so hyaline cartilages may be replaced by the bones in the later stages of the life remember this so if the joint is permanent in nature it is not likely to have the hyaline cartilage as a cartilaginous plate in the cartilaginous joint it will have fibro cartilaginous plate and we will call that joint as the symphysis variety okay or we will call it as the secondary cartilaginous joint so fibro cartilages makes way for the cartilaginous plate in the secondary cartilaginous joints remember this so this is a pattern of writing answer for the cartilages SAQs any type of cartilage if it is asked you will write the answer in this fashion description will be awarded 2 marks diagram of the cartilage will be given 2 marks an example for the 1 mark so this if you cover you are likely to get the full marks for the cartilage SAQs so do remember this and subscribe to our channel comment whatever you feel and please share with your friends so that they can also benefit with the concepts of the anatomy thank you so much